Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to use IFTTT to generate SMS messages from Google Calendar. So basically to get text reminders. Now Google used to have this service built in as part of Google Calendars and you could set it up very very easily but they've since discontinued so now we have to do a little more work if you want those text reminders. To start with you're going to sign up for an account, a free account for IFTTT log in, come to my recipes, and then create a recipe. You want to click on the word this to get started and it's going to ask you to choose a channel or or something you want to interact with and what we want to interact with is Google Calendar. I don't even need to type the calendar. Find it here. And there are three types of triggers that are available. One that gives you um, an S, well, one that triggers 15 minutes before the start of any event. One that triggers 15 minutes before the event that contains a specific keyword or phrase. And I want to use this one because perhaps there are reminders on there that are going to be bothersome if I hear about them. But I want to be able to pick out the ones that I do receive reminders for. Of course, a third option is every time a new event is added to the calendar, which might be useful if in a shared calendar environment where somebody else was adding events you didn't know about. But I'm going to pick the middle one. The keyword or phrase I'm going to use is simply SMS. So if ever I want a reminder, I am going to add a dash SMS to my event description and then I'll get the reminder. Okay, let's continue on to that. And now the action channel. How is that message going to get to me? And I can pick depending either SMS or Android SMS. I'm going to just go with a generic SMS here. And you'll have to do this once. So I'm going to connect. When you hit the connect button, it will send a pin to your phone. So when you receive it on your phone, you're going to enter the pin here. And then you're going to hit connect. You should receive this message if you're successful and then continue to the next step. Now the only action available to me for this particular script would be to send an SMS message to my mobile phone. I can customize the message here. However, this is going to send me the title of the event and a start time which is which is fine for me. It's sufficient. And I'm going to create the action. This is a brief description of the recipe or what it's going to be doing and I can simply create and I've simply come back to my recipes and it's listed here. So one of the unfortunate things is it needs to be tied into a particular calendar. So I use half a dozen or more calendars regularly so I have to repeat this process if I want to be able to rem add reminders to all. But now if I come back to my Google Calendar and I click in here and I just simply say test of SMS reminders. Oh, let's just try test of reminders. And I'm going to have to put a time in there because this will trigger 15 minutes before. So it's about 8.10 now. So I'm just going to say 8.25. Uh, then I'm going to remember to put a dash, a space, and an SMS. Now the dash is not really necessary. I just do that because it makes my event a little uh, clearer and easier to read, less confusing. But the important thing is that this SMS tag is in here because that's what I told the recipe to trigger on. It has to find that in the event. And I'm going to create that. And sure enough, after a minute or so, or less than a minute or so, I receive a text on my cell phone, there it is now, reminding me that I have an event. So great little app. There's a lot more you can do with it. I recommend there are tutorials out there and a lot of stuff on YouTube that you can look into. So there are different types of actions you can do. So I'll jump back over here, create a recipe start the recipe and you can see that these are the sources you can use to trigger an event. So quite a bit. I saw Facebook go by. There's Gmail, there's 
uh, your contacts from Google. There's just a tremendous amount of things. Mailchimp. A lot of these sites I don't even I'm not aware of. I don't know all of these. Um, Pinterest over here. So worth looking into. Cool app. And um, let me know what you think.